Hi, welcome to another video. So, Minimax has launched their own new coding plan. Currently, their API remains free, but starting tomorrow, the API will get new pricing. And there's also the coding plan for those who want usage, but at a lower cost. They say that the API and coding plans will have the same speed, but with limits. I wanted to talk about whether it is worth spending your money on and how much value for money this plan actually provides. So, to start, the Minimax M2 is a really awesome model. Its open weights currently rank number two on my agentic benchmarks as well. I'm currently daily driving this model too. I prefer this over GLM 4.6 as well. Tomorrow, there should be two more new open weight models from a company, so that can surely change things. The models coming are supposed to include a smaller model and another one that's a really cool vision model. So, that can surely change things. I don't have early access, but I think it can be quite cool. So, keep that in mind. But, if we talk about the pricing of this model in the API, it costs about $0.3 per million input tokens, which gets even cheaper if you use the Anthropic API, as it has catching as well. It goes down to about $0.03 cents per million input tokens with catching. Similarly, it costs $1.20 per million output tokens. This is the lowest cost pricing yet for any model that I have used. Even if you use it without any plans, you probably won't exceed something like $20 or $30 for this model. It's so cheap. It's about 13 times cheaper than Sonnet, which is insane considering that I get similar or even better results with this. This also makes it great for long-running sessions because it won't make you go bankrupt like Claude can. So, this is an awesome deal. Remember that until today, it is free. So, it's great. One more thing that I want to mention here is that their API is extremely reliable and maintains its speed. They are currently delivering about 97 tokens per second for a free model. I mean, a lot of people would be using it considering that it's free. And still, they are able to deliver this speed. For some reason, many third-party providers are still not adding inference for this. It makes sense as this is a super small model, relatively. It's just really fast. GLM 4.6 has been having issues with not being very reliable, which is a bad thing to have as it just breaks your flow and it's also a bit slower. Anyway, now let's talk about the coding plan. It apparently comes in three varieties. There's a $10 per month plan, a $20 per month plan, and a $50 per month plan as well. The $10 plan is equivalent to Claude Code Max five times plan, but is 10% of the cost of Claude's plan while giving you two times the usage limit of that which means that you can expect to send at least 500 messages every five hours. The $20 plan is equivalent to the 20X plan, but is 10% of the cost of Claude's plan and gives you about 1.5 times the limit, which means you get about at least 1,300 messages every five hours, which is insane. The $50 plan is the highest cost one, and gives you five times the usage of the $200 Claude Code Max 20 times plan. So, you get at least 4,500 messages every five hours, which is also insane. The pricing is really solid. I would have loved something like a $3 plan that GLM has because it makes the barrier to entry very low cost. But the $10 plan is great nonetheless. It's insane how much the people at Anthropic are charging you for models. Considering that Sonnet-based models have relatively been the same with more post-training thrown on top. So yeah, it's great to see that models from China are at least pushing the frontier with pricing in mind. They say that you will be able to use these models in almost all kinds of tools as well, including Claude Code, Klein, 
roux, and stuff like that. It will basically function just like any other OpenAI compatible or Anthropic compatible API. Let me know if you guys want a proper setup video for it once it's available as well. I think that this is a great plan. I'll probably switch to this for a while and see if they do some kind of speed capping or something in it too. I don't think they will. There's also the agent plan. I'll probably do another video on just their agent because it's quite good. Also, there's a new Zebras code plan for $50 that now gives you access to GLM 4.6. It allows about 1 million tokens every minute and 24 million tokens daily. There's also a $200 plan, which gives you even more limits, and it's really amazing. It gives about 1,000 tokens a second for GLM, which is insane, and it's so fast that I can't really comprehend. It's really very fast, and way better than whatever Cursor's Composer is. The issue is that apparently, the code plan is out of stock now, and even for API, it costs $2.50 per million input tokens and $2.75 per million output tokens as well, which is kind of great too. It's 1,000 tokens a second for cheaper pricing than Cursor's Composer and gives you better results. So yeah, you can check this out as well. I hope they add Minimax M2 too, because it's smaller and can be even faster. Grok is a bit missing in action. I hope they also add these models soon. I'm really liking the new models that are coming out again. Apparently, GPT 5.1 is also going to come this month. And Gemini is also slated for this month, which will make this one of the best years for AI. Last year, to be honest, wasn't that exciting. But this year and next year seem even more exciting for AI models. Let's see what happens. I saw this announcement and thought to talk about this as well. Let me know if you guys want me to test the performance of the Coding Plan API and make a tutorial about how to use it. Let me know what you guys think about it as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.